aisle. Uh, we have established an electric vehicle control unit lab setup and uh, Tata Motors Lucknow plant. So I would like to give you a brief idea of what exactly exists as a part of this EVCU uh, control unit test bench. Uh, so this complete unit is basically a system of components uh, which exists in any electric vehicle. Uh, if you see typically as an overall electric vehicle, uh, we have the battery. So we do have the battery here. Then we have the charger here. And then we also have the contactors. That is your pre-charge contactor and a main contactor also here. We have the motor controller uh, that is driving the motor. And we have the motor which is here. And we have uh, custom developed our VCU that we call it as a vehicle control unit. Uh, we have, it is based on the NXP S32K platform. So completely it has been built on a model based design approach. So then we have a PDU that uh, distributes the overall uh, 12 volt to various different uh, systems that are present here. Also it controls the contactors which are here. So we have two types of contactor. One would be for the charge side, other is for the discharge side. So we have the charge control and then the discharge control mechanism in place. Also we have integrated a, a type 2 charging system that is being present here. And uh, this is a, a charger that goes in for our uh, uh, the type 2 charging port. And uh, the whole system is being possible to visualize uh, via our control panel, which is uh, here. The control panel consists of our HMI that we have developed in-house. So where we have a lot of information available for the learner to understand uh, different parameters. And then on top of it, we have developed certain information module that is available here. Maybe the LV voltage, motor controller voltage, HV battery voltage, and the motor phase voltages. Uh, to kind of create some scenarios where we can uh, bring up some fault conditions. So we have developed uh, certain uh, you know, the bars where we are able to increase this. Accordingly, we can see the increase in certain temperatures, like we have a motor controller temperature, uh, more temperature than the battery temperatures. And also we have an option to vary the SOC. So there are certain test cases that can be uh, easily conducted by performing these uh, variations. So we also have the option to induce some faults as a door switch. So we have an option to induce the high voltage, um, uh, you know, the fault switch. Then we have the main key switch. Then we also have the drive control options where we have parking to drive and then we have echo mode, sport mode and the city mode converters. We also have an option for the reverse here and then the, the brake. So we have a, a throttle which is here. So which is can induce the, uh, the input to the motor controller and then it can be driving the motor as well. So as a part of the overall setup, the whole system is uh, driven by the VECU that we have solely developed. As a part of the VECU, so the whole system is connected via the CAN communication uh, lines. So we have the BMS CAN that is coming from the BMS and going here and going to the VECU. We have the charger can that is coming from the charger and then it is going to the VCU and then we also have the motor controller the can that is coming from the motor controller to the VCU and uh, then at the last we also have our uh, the control panel uh, can basically all of these inputs that is going from here are going to the uh, VCU with the help of a can communication system which is we have developed here. And this HMI also works uh, as an input uh, system with a CAN, that is v, the VECU sending a CAN communication system to our VECU and VECU gives you all the data. In a simplistic level, the overall idea of this equipment is to give an understanding of the components, uh, subsystems, their integration, and then overall, you know, the, the functionality as a complete system all today. And, uh, we have also developed a complete uh, CAN DBC for the overall uh, setup that is here. That means you get all the data from complete different systems. We have the data coming from, uh, I would say, the, the BMS, and we have data coming from the motor. We have the data coming from motor controller. Uh, all of this information is coming directly from the CAN, and uh, with the help of our DBC files. 
So we are able to show you what is happening inside the overall system. Uh, so let me give you a small demonstration of uh, simple things. Uh, let's say you could see a lot of these functions. Let's say there's a motor error, hard error, throttle error, MCU error. If anything happening inside the system, it gives you an information here. So as an engineer, you can understand and look through what options to diagnose them. Uh, how do you do our troubleshooting and root cause analysis and all of these information is available through this. So as a kit, this gives you uh, a gift, an engineer, uh, to understand how this overall fun components and subsystems works in an integrated together in an electric vehicle. So then on top of it, to show you some of the greater functions of a VECU. So if you see here that right now the vehicle is in the parking mode, right? And uh, if you want to go from parking mode to drive mode, there are a lot of fundamental things that need to be right on our vehicle. Maybe if you have connected the charger, for an example. So we have a charger and uh, I plug the charger, right? So if you have connected the charger uh, to the overall system, then I should not allow my vehicle to get moved from my parking mode to a drive mode. You would have seen automatically when I connected my charger. So the system doesn't allow me to go from any of my modes, that is my, you know, the drive mode to the parking mode or any of the other modes as well. So in the same way, we have developed a lot of other functions that are more about uh, 10 to 15 plus functions that are being integrated in the overall system. That's how you see, uh, because now that we disconnected a charger, you don't see the charger can get simple also here. Now if I want to move from the uh, drive mode that I was in the parking mode, I have now moved to a drive mode. You can see the vehicle is live in the drive mode now. So that means I can run the motor. I can see the various details of the vehicle speed and its functions. And I can also see the phase voltage chart here. So then I can also change the mode of the motor to, let's say, echo. I can change it to city. I can change it to a, uh, different, different modes. Okay. And in a case, if I have to say that, you know, I can change my SOC here. If I change my SOC, automatically the mode from a uh, city or a sports goes to an echo depending upon the SOC. So like that, we have built in a lot of functions, which kind of gives an idea for the learner. And uh, this is the overall setup that gives a uh, broader perspective uh, to any engineer who would like to learn about uh, EV technology, and uh, functions and uh, behavior of the system, and then the importance of a PSU in the overall vehicle uh, for the EV needs. So thank you very much. Uh, that's the overall brief about the uh, setup which we have done here.